So last year I was lucky enough to travel over to the United Kingdom and visit some of my colleagues in the private club industry. We got to play some amazing golf and I wanna share some of those old vlogs with you. Hopefully you enjoy them. By the way, make sure to leave a comment down below and let us know where you'd like to see us play next. We're going to some amazing places very soon like Dubai, Qatar and Bay Hill in Orlando, but we want to know where you'd like us to take you. So leave a comment below. Without further ado, here is my trip last year to Sunningdale, the new course. Hey, I'm sitting here at the airport in Tampa, Florida, just getting some work done about an hour and a half before I take off on a pretty epic journey that's going to include six planes, eight trains, two buses, four vans, and one camel. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it. So, with this trip being so many different legs of the journey, I decided to, for the first time in my life, really be organized. I'm kind of a person who travels just by winging it. And I decided, well, nope, I'm gonna have a little spreadsheet of all my times and be very organized about things. And of course, I get stuck in the passport line for an hour and a half here in Gatwick cute jokes about London and their lines now and I missed my train by two minutes so <laughs> the best laid plans right now I am waiting around for an hour for the next train but uh, that's just the universe telling me to know my role not trying to force things and live in the flow a little bit more so I'm gonna try to embrace that as I navigate through the crowds here see if we can get this next train okay now the good news is i had not used the bathroom in about 10 hours so <laughs> i was just sitting in lines and being on the plane didn't use the bathroom so now i'm going to use the bathroom and that's kind of nice so there's that <laughs> small pleasures right i just got off the train finally here in swindon it's been a long day. Started last night at 10 o'clock. It's now about 2.45 here in Swindon, England. Waiting for Leighton Walker who's gonna pick me up and we're gonna take a trip to Bath. Historic Bath. It's been around since the Roman times. It should be a fun little adventure. So Bath is a wonderful little town with cobblestone roads and shops around every corner. There's some beautiful water features in the city. And of course, it's famous for its Roman baths that were built in AD 60. We're standing here at the Roman baths built in 76 AD, 76 AD. by the Romans. And uh, thanks to Leighton for bringing me out here. This is pretty cool. The water is actually Great. warm because it's about, what's, what's the degrees in Celsius right now? Uh, it's about, 12, 11, 12 11 or 12, it's about 50, I think, something like that. <laughs> but the water here is pretty warm, so it's pretty nice. But uh, these are the eternal flames to the goddess Minerva that uh, never become white ash. And uh, here we are. It's pretty cool down here. Yeah, now we're going to go for a swim. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> of course, there's no way to end the day better than a proper pint. No, it's fine. Yeah, just uh, no. We just made it to Windsor Castle here, me and Leighton. There's Leighton. You wanted to see a castle, Gabe. I thought we'd do you want a castle, you got a best. castle. <laughs> this was built in the 11th century, uh, right after the Norman invasion by William the Conqueror, and uh, it survived all this time. Inhabited palace in Europe. Right? Oldest inhabited palace in Europe. Listen to this guy, he's been on. Oh, longest. Yes, longest, right. <laughs> We didn't actually go inside of Windsor Castle, but here are some beauty shots from the outside. And just taking it in from out here is breathtaking enough. We had to make our tea time, so it was off to Sunningdale. So here we are, Sunningdale Golf Club. Thought we'd bring Gabe somewhere nice in the UK to play some golf and doesn't get much better than this. What are we, top four courses in the UK, I believe. 120 year old clubhouse that we're about to have a bit of lunch in, and then we're gonna go and play the new course today, which is pretty amazing. We're both pretty pumped, actually. Uh, this was actually featured in an Agatha Christie story. This club's also been on one of the great James Bond films. 
I think the manager said it was top two or three in the UK, and it's definitely on the world top 100 as well. So we're going to have a fun day out here. Uh, I'm excited to be out here. First time playing golf in, in England, actually. So thank you, Leighton, for taking me out here, man. Pleasure. Doesn't get any better than this. About to tee off here at the new course. And uh, I've got my rented set, which isn't too shabby for renting a set of clubs. I got the AP2s, the Vokey wedges all the new Titleist stuff in the Cameron putter, so we're in good shape here. It's gonna be a fun day. Good luck, Ed. Play well. Likewise. Hey, that's great. Good work. Look at that ridge, it's sick. A lot of this heather here. Well, we're through nine here. Layton is three over? All right, I'm seven over, and we're having a damn good time. The heath covers Sunningdale, and it's a bear to get out of, but it's so beautiful and provides such a rich contrast to the gorgeous That's green color. Said. Oh, it's a beauty. Yes, get up. Right, so moving into the back nine. This is where we get it going now. Come on, Gabe. <laughs> but it's not bad. Solid golf shot. One time. Ah. <laughs> I did turn it around and I actually birdied number 18 to finish off the day. And that's so fitting, isn't it? That golf always keeps you coming back for more. All day. What do you think, Leighton? Awesome, yeah, that's really good. First time round here. Hopefully it won't be the last. I have to come back and do the old course. Actually. Yeah, Hopefully. absolutely. No, amazing. Fantastic architecture, um, great elevation changes, in great condition. Um, just, yeah, one of the classics. Really. Yeah, enjoyed yeah, it. Really absolutely. Enjoyed it. Oh my goodness, it's incredible. The colors, the elevation changes, a lot of blind tee shots. The par threes were all super spectacular. Just these um, greens sitting on top of a ledge, really well bunkered and uh, I shot 83, you shot 72, Leighton, and I'd say that's a pretty good day for the two of us. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. I'm standing here outside the village of Letslade, and it's just this iconic English countryside. You see behind me a bridge that was built in 1782, uh, one of the first bridges over the River Thames, which I am on the Thames River that big river you see in London. This is where it basically starts. This is the furthest navigatable point anyway that boats could come along when they were trading goods with London. I guess it was cheese and wool that they would ship down and some salt as well. And they would ship that down to London from here. And so I'm just in this little tiny town out here in the country. And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool to get a taste of the English countryside. It's been a lovely time in Cotswolds in Letchlade and I'm now heading to Goodwood. I gotta say bye to this little town. Well, that's gonna wrap things up for this week on Let's Play Through, but we've got a lot more coming at you in the coming weeks, including Bay Hill, where we uncover a secret hiding in the locker room. We're gonna visit Dubai Creek and the Emirates Golf Club in Dubai, which will be absolutely spectacular. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and make sure to leave a message in the comments to let us know where you'd like to see us play next. We'll catch you back here next week on another edition of Let's Play Through.